Okay, this video is going to be about the Trinity Trackstar Turbo Programming Box. I bought this for the uh, Trackstar 120 Waterproof uh, ESC and Brushless Edition. Uh, this is how it comes in the box. It's also got all this stuff on the back that tells you that what it does. This is not what it looks like when you're inside the menu. So I don't know if this is for the Turbo. Uh, this is not how it looks for the Trackstar 120 waterproof. Okay, we've got the programmer out of the box for our ESC. Uh, there is no instructions that come with this thing. There's no manual I could find online. Nothing. Um, you'll turn it over and you'll look at the back to plug into the ESC. There's this blue and this yellow. The first thing you'll realize is you'll look at your tab and it's got the tab on the side and it actually doesn't fit in any of these slots. So rather than send this back to like Hong Kong or wherever the heck it came from, I decided to modify the box to try to get that thing in there and try it out. So what I ended up doing was using a set of clippers like this. And what you want to do is be clipping this top corner of the blue side to fit your tab in there. I ended up clipping almost all around, flipping my plugs every way till I got this to work. If you go to the blue side and you can put your tab to the top uh, after you've made your hole. This is how you need to turn it on to program it. So we'll turn it on now. And it comes up and it says programming box version 2.1 push any key and it says track star waterproof it's got some version number I guess it's loading. Okay, so it's got battery type, and you can pick auto detect or metal, metal, metal nickel hydride. I just left that alone to the standard. And it's on auto detect. Then you use these up down buttons to go through the menus. Uh, that's restore your defaults. Reverse rotation, that would be if you were on your wires improperly. Uh, dead band, it's for your neutral setting, I didn't have to adjust that. Drive, frequency, uh, haven't played with that yet, kind of looking at maybe doing that. Uh, reverse limit, can't remember what it came on, but I've got it set at 10%. Um, I was thinking of changing this to zero, but 10 has actually worked out pretty good. It won't spin the tires in reverse, but it goes quick enough, I guess. Uh, forward limit is zero, so you could actually reduce the power of this motor if you wanted. Um, acceleration, here's the one of the nice parts of this motor. It's got a low, medium, and high. I've been running it on low because my Summit's not really a speed machine, and I didn't want to break a bunch of parts. And that's actually one of the settings I'm going to play with today. Um, is the thing I've noticed about it is this motor jumps uh, the high torque. Uh, when you first start it, it actually doesn't cog, it just gets going. And the low speed of the Summit is not low enough for me. Um, so we've got acceleration, we've got motor timing, you can adjust that. The drag brake off, which is awesome for bashing. Not that good for crawling. Uh, I was thinking of turning this up actually a little bit. And just seeing if that helps out at all. So I do want my summit to be best of both worlds. So we got set at 8%. Uh, initial brake 10%. Brakes on this thing are perfect. They work just as good as stock for sure with this ESC. And Operation mode, you can have a race mode where you just turn it to forward. I got mine on forward reverse. And we're back to battery auto detect. So the big thing with this box really is trimming that, that hole at the back there to fit your tab and then you're off. Um, I'm not sure if there's other Turnigy programmers that could do more with this system. But this is the one that comes up when you buy the motor. Um, I think it was $10 or $8 does work, you just have to use your clippers to get the tab to fit in there.